Okay guys, so this week we're gonna work on some high leg pass uh, entries and however you want to look at it. You know, you can look at it as a stabilization, you can look at it as a, a position that you can hit right when you're coming up and trying to pass the guard. Um, it can be a, a bunch of different ways, but the idea of this week is, I have my, my friend here, we're gonna show some of the moves on, but I know a lot of you guys have made some um, BJJ dummies at home, things you guys can play with and go through the techniques with. This is a little bit different because it's a little more mobile, but if you have a balance ball at home in front of you, but if you have a balance ball, it's very similar to that. I like this one because it has the arms on it, so it's a little more realistic. I'm a very visual person, so I like to be able to see that. But the idea is we're gonna do some high leg passes, show you some two or three different entries with it. Although that is important, I really want you to focus on the pressure. So this week is all about pressure and knowing how to apply it and be able to use that pressure as you're walking around the opponent and being able to look for your finishes and, and whatnot. All right, so the first one, high leg pass. So my hands here, this is my person I'm going with, they have a uniform on or whatever. I'm looking to go control the collar, I'm looking to control the leg. All right, now, as I take a step on my left foot, this is a headquarter position, so my right foot's in the middle between the two legs. I take a step out and the high leg comes back from behind and I circle it around to more of like a knee on belly side position. All right. You can also go down to side control if you choose, and I'll show on Josh in a minute what that looks like. But just to get the idea of it, the movement, my hands here, I take a step, I high leg, I come around. I come back, my left side's forward. So everything's opposite. Right foot steps, left leg comes back, comes into a C, back into my knee on belly position. So one more time, a little more high speed here. I kick, come around, left side, I kick, and come around. All right, so on a person. Josh, I'm gonna come out. Okay, so if I'm inside headquarter position here, all right, we're starting to battle and I've got in control of my collar and my and the pant leg. I'm gonna take that same step, I high leg that pass. Notice when I do that, I'm taking my left hand and I'm shoving his right knee across my center line. All right, so if I'm here, I high leg, I push this, my right leg now comes behind the thigh and I want him in this position like this, like a Z type position. All right, so that way it's harder for him to come back into me. All right, now from here, I usually like to go right on the side control, stabilize the position, and look for my attacks. So one more time, so I'm here, I got control of the collar on the pant leg, I take my left foot, take a step, kick the leg, come around, control, you can finish and stay there, or you can go right in, stabilize the cross side position. Okay, one thing I want you to think about too, when you're here, this is common because a lot of people stop after the first attempt on trying to do the high leg pass. So they'll go here and they'll go and the person kind of locks the leg and they go, oh, I don't have it. But that's the time you want to try to attempt it the second and third time until you get it, especially if your opponent is just barely hanging on to the legs. If you continue to stay there, they're going to, of course, lock down tighter. So I'm here, I get a little feel for them, then I kick again as I push this, then it stabilizes me to look for my position to go to side control. 